Welcome, my name is Morten. I'm standing here at the SLAS 2020 and I would like to go through the poster here with the title Flow-Induced Dispersion Analysis for Size-Based Characterization of Peptide Lysosome Interactions. I'm affiliated with FIDA Biosystems and the University of Copenhagen and together with another group at University of Copenhagen we have done this characterization of peptide lysosome interactions. So the key uh, message here is that we are able with one single technique to determine the binding affinity and vesicle size of liposomes as well as determining the interaction mechanism. Yes. So liposomes they are vesicles uh, and here we use them for mimicking the structure of cells, cell membranes. Um, and in this particular case, we use alpha synuclein as our peptide interacting with this liposome membrane. And this is relevant in uh, neurodiseases where alpha synuclein has a pronounced role. For analyzing the experiments, we have used a fetalizer 1 instrument employing fluorescence detection. And what we have done is that we have labeled alpha synuclein with a fluorophore. And this is our ligand selectively interacting with our liposome. So the principle here is that we inject a narrow zone of our indicator, the alpha synuclein, and mobilize it with the flow towards a detection point. If we have an unbound state, we'll have a narrow peak at the detection point. However, if we have a complex form, a larger molecule will have a broader signal. And that is what is depicted here. So this is essentially what we measure in feeder experiments, we measure molecular size. So if you go to the results. So this here is, a, is an illustration. Um, and what we are measuring is alpha synucleins binding to liposomes. So here down, down here we have the size of alpha synuclein unbound. You see it's around three nanometers, the hydrodynamic radius. And as we titrate with our POPG liposomes, we see that the apparent size of alpha synuclein increases up to the size around 30 nanometers. From this graph, we can also extract the KD value. It's approximately 2.5 micromolar. But this can actually also be used as a standard curve. So if we have a sample with unknown amounts of PUPG liposomes, then we can extract from the apparent size a concentration. Here we have just used it for characterizing the interaction. Further, we took a point up here and applied it to this competitive format down here. So we have our complex, our alpha synuclein liposome complex here, and then we add different competitors and see their ability to outcompete the uh, alpha synuclein. And first, we have a, a test here where we have alpha synuclein wild type, non labeled, and it's fully able to displace uh, alpha synuclein out of the liposome membrane. Further, we also have a variant that is acetylated, which is also able to fully displace the, uh, the alpha synuclein. Then we look at uh, some peptide fragments uh, in the molecule. So we look at if we delete the first 14 amino acids in the end terminal, then we see that the affinity is clearly impaired. So these uh, residues clearly have a, a distinguished role in the interaction. Also, if we look at the peptide itself, it has no interaction at all because the, the interaction is, uh, yeah. So in conclusion, we are able to uh, determine peptide liposome interactions. These vesicles could be other vesicles like exosomes, for instance, or virus-like particles. Yeah, if you have further questions, come to our booth at the SLAS 2020 booth 2108 uh, or you can visit our website feederbio.com. Thank you.